Hello, Virgo. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Virgo, we're going to do an uh, end of 2022 review. We're going to look at where your energy was when you started the year, where you are now, and the biggest lesson of 2022. Because we don't want to... We don't want to have to do this again. Some of you may be taking a trip downtown. Somebody's name could be Gregory or David. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Star in the reverse. Guards up. I feel like uh, somebody's lost hope in fighting for something anymore. Just messages that are coming out. I don't know. We're going to jump into the reading. Aquarius Leo energy. It's like I want to get there before somebody else gets to you. What's coming in is it may be solid and someone feels like if if they meet someone solid, then then we'll never reconnect. Somebody played too many games though. Somebody was selfish. Somebody played too many games. I'm getting like a web of lies or like a chain of fools type of energy. Like lover, lovers quarrels. Okay. Where you started the year, the energy you came into 2022 feels heavy. It feels like either you had a lot of responsibilities and it's like, I don't know how to make all of this happen. Something is weighing heavy on you. There could have been communication that came through about something, messages. You could have been communicating with somebody who was either. I'm picking up on alcohol too, like one too many. Um, so some of y'all were partying or drinking too much during the holidays. Um, trying to reach for something that may have already been over. What's the, what is that? There's denial here. Somebody was dealing with someone else romantically. And that was their hesitancy or something like that. That was, it was like they, there was a fear of being disappointed again. Is this your person? This could be a fire sign. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Is this that fire sign? Yes. There was someone else. Top of the year. Is that you? I'm clarifying something else. I know y'all be like, what is she talking about? But it was like, I know you still love me, though. I know you still love me, though. Is that you? Yeah, so it's like, just work with me. Just be patient with me. But maybe you had already felt like... Because uh, the Ten of Wands is like a feeling, I think. It's like pressure. It's like, I don't want this to be over. Why is the death card in the reverse? Let's make it feel better. Let's let's do it again. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Let me romance you. Open up. There was a lot of betrayal, a lot of waiting. And I'm telling you, okay, there was a betrayal. Somebody had, I feel like the, if this is a feminine and masculine. Let's say the... Let's say the feminine, let's, let's dance with it. Let's say the feminine hurt the masculine. And while she was doing whatever she was doing, the, the masculine found something else to do too. This went both ways, but somebody, it's like you broke me first. Yeah, maybe, maybe some of y'all need to listen to that song. I forgot who the artist is. But it's like a you broke me first. Even though I said it was... I feel like the masculine broke the feminine first. And then there's somebody new. How serious was this connection that came in? 
it was more of a kiss the lonely away type of connection and then push away so basically what one person did to the other they that person did to the the, <laughs> the side person it's like you made me feel better about the ending or the current state of my relationship or life or emotions Kiss the lonely away. So, somebody said, well, I'll communicate more. For somebody, even in that communication, it was like somebody's energy had already fallen to the wayside. It's like you could feel that someone had already energetically given up and they just weren't saying it yet. Like somebody slowly started to realize the truth. Something maybe I didn't listen to. Is this him? It's like other pe it's other people though. So is this you that became uninterested? Yeah, I think you started looking at something. So it's like Feeling that weight and feeling like I just can't seem to make something happen and it's and it's stressing me out and someone is no longer budging. It's like this person is sitting back looking at me like, what's your next move? <laughs> what else you got? It's almost like somebody has someone figured out and the other person is really worried about it. So it's like coming into the year, there was someone who had realized, wow. The emperor and the empress. Okay. The empress is just sitting back like, well, what else? You <laughs> I don't know why I keep hearing it like that. What else you got? And the empress in the reverse. So he's feeling like kind of like not as powerful or something. And it's got him looking at himself like, am I as cool as I thought I was? But somebody may have, oh, it's like somebody may lack control or direction. Follow through could, could have been an issue. It's like something was broken. And in this time, I mean, it, it, this looks like a situation where the tables have turned on a masculine energy. It's like maybe he was the head honcho, HNIC, all that kind of stuff. And then now she is or something. And he's trying to hold on. He is trying to hold on, but he is not. Is this her? But he is not trying to tell her. So this is about control, too. It's just a little more something. Similar to Leo's reading. It's like, I want to hold on to you, but I actually don't want to tell you about this other person I just started connecting with, which could be an ex that I need for something. <laughs> like I need what is that need somebody feels like it's like somebody hasn't moved on from another missed opportunity too and I feel like it's less beneficial than the one that they're compromising because it's like there's someone here who woke it's like the one, oh, okay. So it's like, I still love the part of me that actually felt like I didn't deserve what I think I deserve. Or that, that I st I'm still attached to the part of me that knows I deserve better. And you are making me wake up and you're moving my, you're moving my mind to the next level. And how does that make this person feel? Loved. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And it's like, you make me want to be there, but I, I hold on to this other thing because... <laughs> <laughs> they don't give me no lip. <laughs> they let me control the show. And you make me feel like I'm not in control. But really, what you're helping me or influencing me to do is be more in control of myself. Ay, ay, ay. 
I see what's happening. I see why this was frustrating. It's like, damn, I love you, but I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Somebody decided. It's like somebody knew that they went about this desire the wrong way. And it's like this this guy is looking like... It's like maybe when he first realized that he... Okay, I, there's something between me and this person. It's like he was afraid of it because it's like, I don't feel in control of this. You ain't supposed to be in control of love, honey. Newsflash. <sighs> when somebody comes into your life and shows you something better, you're supposed to just say hello. Oh, thank you for this experience. <laughs> thank you for teaching me something or showing me something that I've never experienced before. But somebody was like, well, let me hold on to this other thing. I'm going to learn from you. But let me hold on. I, like, I love you. I love the way you make me feel right now. But I'm going to hold on to this other thing because she let me slap her around. I don't know. But figuratively. Hopefully not literally. Okay. Uh, okay. Could have been it's like gossip. Gossip could have been an issue. It's like somebody was really in love. And it's like, I'm sorry. I finally see the consequences of why I did this or why I was acting this way. Please be patient with me. Don't go be with somebody else. Uh, somebody's been a teacher. It's like somebody could be a teacher, but I'm also getting, it's like, you, you've taught me a lot, and I finally see the consequences of my action, but I don't know if I'll be able to do, it's like, do what it was that I wanted to do. I feel like I've already failed at this, making the wrong decisions, not being committed, not just not doing the right thing with this connection, and maybe putting you in the middle of something that, you know, and it's like, somebody was in denial that they were a oh my god some there was an obvious choice and i'm not trying to make nobody feel bad but it was like there was an obvious choice here it's like if you go over here you get a million dollars and if you go over here you get a sack of coal which one do you want and somebody was like both <laughs> think I want both. Why did they want both? Because I can't use the same tactics that I normally use. This is your, it's like you're making me, I've always had this part of my heart closed off. What are you trying to do? Why are you not behaving like the other ones behave? Why are you so vulnerable with me? Is that how you do love? It's like, I've always looked at it as, well, let me buy you this and then keep everybody in this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like <laughs> fear. It's like I'm used to just making these promises and then everything's cool. I don't know. It's like you're not doting on me. You're actually pulling me in. I actually had somebody say that to me. It's like you you require change. That's what it is. And I had some <laughs> say this to me once. <laughs> he was in the kitchen cooking for me. Oh my god, he was a Virgo too. He was in the uh, kitchen cooking for me. He was a Virgo rising. And um, I said, well, I was just sitting there. I don't know if I was following my nails or on my phone. I don't know what I was doing. But I was just sitting at his house in the kitchen while he was cooking. And I like when somebody sits in the kitchen with me when, you know, and just talks to me when I'm cooking. So I just sat in the kitchen, you know. And I thought it was nice. My father's a chef who's a Virgo as well. So it's like I was used to that. And so, he um, he looks back at me almost like as he has this real, as if he's having this realization like, oh, you just some kind of princess, huh? And I was like, um, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I am. Anyway, um, he was like, yeah, but I kind of like it though. It's like, normally... A woman would be, you know, up in here cleaning and cooking and slaving and uh, why am I here and giving head? Anyway, just dominate. I don't know. I don't want to call that domination because 
it, it is normally it's my natural instinct. I have a lot of cancer on my chart, so it's like normally it's my natural instinct to be getting up and doing all that. But something in that particular connection was like, mm. I think I'll just sit here and be pretty. And it wasn't that I wasn't putting energy into the connection. I was putting plenty of energy, time, space, everything into the connection. But I just played a different role for some reason. And maybe that was the lesson in all of it, right? So anyway, there, there could have been a dynamic of giving too much too. But I said all that to say what? He looks back at me. And say, well, he said, what was it? I actually like that. And then he puts whatever was in his hand down. It's almost like he dropped it down. And he runs over and he gets down on his knees in front of me. And he says, I'm not used to this. You're drawing me in. <laughs> and it's like, I'm supposed to be the one drawing you in. And tantalizing and making you fantasize about me. And I was like... I don't know how to respond to this. I'm not sorry. I don't know. It was very strange, but that's the energy that I'm seeing here because it's like you're making me want to do shit different and it makes me uncomfortable. And so I run back to what I know, even though I know it's not really good for me, but it's comfortable and it's not beneficial. <laughs> you just drawing me in. It's love. You know, we get it confused. I just did a, a reading for Leo called Tactics versus Love. It's like, we use tactics for like goals and, <laughs> you know, work. Um, I don't know. Avoiding danger. Not relating to a person that is some Joe shit that is that show on uh, Netflix called you that's some that shit and a lot of us are walking that thin line we're walking a lot closer to that line than we think when we try to manipulate situations to go to, to have a specific outcome versus just going with the flow but that's 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 what's going on here. So, let's look at this. Where you are now, because y'all got me talking too much. And, yeah. All right. So, where you are now, King of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you're upset about something. While it's not, while everything in the situation may have not been your fault, maybe you were the victim in this situation, whatever's got you in this energy right now be upset or just you just don't really know what to think about something it's like while it's not your fault it is your responsibility to heal oh, that's the kind of source in the reverse it's like you may be upset at the things that you don't know it's a lot of guarded energy pisces it's like a lot of mystery when it comes to maybe a certain connection wondering if someone is even like, ah, somebody's, somebody may be mad at themselves. I'm getting like a chronic dater, chronic honeymoon, honeymooner, the honeymooner. Like I'm gonna hold on to this, and it's like this empress was sitting back watching this masculine bip and bop and bop and bip. Somebody may have tried to act like it wasn't their fault, and it's like, what? What's that? It's the things that someone didn't say, and the things that weren't mat matching up with the actions, and the lies, and the betrayal, and the other women, or the other men, or... It's like, you can't sit here and act like something's not your fault. The card says, you know what you did. And then she know what you did, too. I, what is this? Somebody knows what... I know what you did last summer. 
So somebody made, okay. So is this the same energy? Somebody's looking back at the other person. Okay, so if I had to go on, if somebody moved on, moved away from this connection, right? Somebody moved over where the tide was low. It's like, okay, it feels a little safer over here. I tried. Or there may be something else that someone wants to go for. What is that? Oh, no, I tried with you. It's like, I tried with you. This is either you saying this or another person saying this. It's like, I tried, but, you know, it's, and it's like somebody's thinking it's better. Is that the lesson? I wouldn't say die trying. <laughs> um, but I think somebody's like, well, I tried, you know. And at least I can walk away saying that I tried. Is that you? This is the other person. Whoever has shut their heart off from this situation is like looking back at old pictures, reminiscing about the connection. But it's almost like there's nothing that you can say that will i don't know there's fear something that's happened that has really kind of tainted the connection and i feel like there's a masculine here who knows exactly what it is who may have like a something about physical desires a carnal like kind of like earth earth worldly things that somebody has a weakness for it's like always the next best thing but it's like damn i sure miss the days when such and such would heal me or when virgo would heal me it's like i should have committed to that somebody did i feel like that's where someone is currently and for some of you this could apply to a cross watcher but i'm seeing a pair here so take just be on the side of whoever you think you are <laughs> So the biggest lesson is seeing where it's like you know it's not so much about placing fault it's more so of being able to take your circumstances you know the circumstances don't make the man they just reveal them and somebody knows they somebody messed up a lot of things and they don't know how to fix it the thing i think the fixing was the problem it's like somebody may have been trying to fix people who weren't broken you know, so a lot of times when you, there's some times that the, the very person who's trying to fix you is the broken one. You know, so I feel like somebody was going against the natural flow of a relationship. And it's like the lesson is seeing it. Okay, that was me. Okay, yep. That's where I went wrong. I did this before, too. You know what I mean? I did this with uh, Jessica. Or I did this with Frank. <laughs> or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I might have done this with my kids. I'm, You know, just the accountability part. Because I feel like that was definitely an issue. And something about... There, when you plant a seed, you got to wait. You got to water it. You got to wait. You got to give it a little sun. Keep it happy, wait, give it time. Um, I'm, I'm hearing manufactured. It's like somebody wanted to speed something up. And sometimes we look back and we're like, damn, <coughs> I didn't get what I wanted out of that situation. But maybe sometimes we're only specific about the things that we don't want and not necessarily the things that we do want. And sometimes we got to sit down and think about, well, what do I want? I don't know. I feel like this reading is not making any sense. <laughs> Y'all tell me in the comments. I just feel like I've been talking. Um, for some of you, this could have something to do with work. It's like if you don't build your own dreams, then you will be hired. 
to help someone else build theirs. So it's like, what is it that you want to do? And this could be about a relationship. You know, that could be about anything, right? So the Queen of Swords is over here. She's put her heart away. She has, it's like she's confessed something to herself. The King of Swords, this has made him look at himself. What he abandoned, how he, how his um, addictions or how his, and this could be a man or a woman, take the genders however, right? How habits or lifestyle like choices has Mm, it's like close the door to someone's heart to someone so having access to someone and it's like she's over here kind of accepting the ending and taking and trusting that there must be something else right moving away from something that it's like I don't want you to rely on me in that way I want you to be able to stand on your own and be able to stand for me the thing about this is, I had a, I don't know why it's reminding me of this, but um, if there was any ghosting or like unreliability in this connection, it's like, uh -huh, now how I'm going to rely on that? You can up and change your mind at any point. And I'm supposed to just be like, yeah, hey, I'm here, I'm still here with my cup of love, ready to pour it into you and things like that. I feel like the only thing that somebody was asking for, it's like, if I'm the only one that you want, why is there so much turbulence here? Why is it so hard? Why are you avoiding the connection? Maybe some, maybe the only thing that somebody asked for was to be heard or understood. <coughs> and <coughs> the only way that we know that we're heard is like through that, I don't know, letting somebody know that you heard them. Letting somebody know that, that, that you understand that you, something about reliability is a problem. I want you somebody's worried that the other person is interested but the, it's like the focus should be on someone's own self worth it's like why if, if you're getting crumbs and somebody's avoiding the connection now you know now you know there's no more denial there's no communication Somebody's wishing to move backwards to something. Why settle for crumbs? And the thing about it is, is whether you were the one who did wrong in the connection or they were the one, whoever did wrong in the connection, that damage is done. And a lot of times, if you do reconnect with the person after a significant amount of damage has been done to them, there will be karma throughout that relationship. It will come back around. And this look like that so it's like okay now you're seeing okay if, if you're the one then it's like okay i know why this person is doing this you don't necessarily have to be the martyr they may have suffered through it as long as they suffered through it that doesn't mean that you have to and it doesn't make you a selfish person not to want to suffer it's like okay i know why this happened i'm gonna try not to do that shit again move on okay Sarah. right peace just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend a performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. This is a good way to start healing, too. And time spent worrying is still is still time spent. Money spent on bullshit is still money gone. So that... And, and just getting back into the flow, Virgos. Like, what belongs to you is yours. What What's supposed to be coming to you is on the way to you you can hold it up but i say if you see if you like i said if you feel that resistance stop that's where you say okay you pull back go with the flow oh my god okay i'm gonna pull <laughs> an oracle card for you guys that was intense virgo The seed has been planted, though. It's like something has been planted. With it. And you never know. This might be like 
strawberries. Maybe you planted some strawberries and it's like, I remember when I planted strawberries and I planted some cactus too that I picked up on tour in Texas. And I put them in my garden and I kept coming back to the same spot to see if it had grown there. I'm like, what the hell? And I look one day, I'm just walking through like the rest of the yard and then it popped up on the other side of the yard. So sometimes it ain't always going to come where you think. <laughs> sometimes it may surprise you where that harvest is going to come from. Okay, you have to know that you are loved in the meantime. Uh, I want to call you Leo, Virgo. Let's read. There is a new or renewed love energy around you, be it familial, platonic, romantic, or otherwise. Whether you're single or attached to a new or per professional relationship cycle is starting with you. Whether you're single or attached, a new personal or professional relationship cycle is starting for you. Open your heart and be loving. The trick is to get involved with people you like or even love. Be on, be that on a personal or platonic level. If you want a new friend, you're on the right track. For work or money question, a new start is highly likely and love the sky is the limit if you react with love, not resistance. Something about a quiet river. It's like your emotions can flow and you'll be able to just feel good about letting your emotions flow. You just have to let them. And it's like I was telling cancer, it's like you got to know when to, it's like that bottle when, when you're pouring from a liquor bottle and they got that little spout on there that only lets it pour for three seconds. Just know when to pull back, right? This card is an especially good sign for matters related to romance, a job interview, or any important relationship. Consider the other person in your situation. What are their needs and worries? Get out and meet new people. Thoughts attract beautiful experiences and they can attract the opposite. So be mindful. Love makes the world go round. That's the last message. Know that you are love, Virgo. Know that Journey loves you and like, share, and subscribe if this, res if this resonated with you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.